And that's written by our hero, LRH. This is from Clearing Success Congress Lecture of 3 September 1963. Here's Scientology orgs and what they do for you. Ah. It has been my ambition for a very long time to be able to say to any human being on Earth that they could walk up to any organization of Scientology, whether it was a central, a city office, or a central organization, wait, a center, excuse me, center, city office, or a central organization, sorry, I botched that, to be able to walk in the front door and at the end of some, well, you could even say a nebulous number of hours of processing, emerge out of that front door clear. And that's capitalized, clear. Yeah, they'll clear you right out. Like a brain enema. And that has been a very steady ambition. Just as steady as his mental state. <laughs> I love this magazine. I'm going to have to be playing with this for a while. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> All right. Now, what does that take to do that? What does that take to do that? He was a great writer, wasn't he? That takes a terrific accuracy of duplication of material. It takes a fantastic amount of skill and training. It takes a high level of dedication above all other things. On the, uh, on the part of the staff, that's the underlings, and that ambition, right now, is being realized. And now we're thinking in terms of new buildings and designing new buildings all over the world. In other words, we've kept it there for a long time. Now we're going to keep it there with exclamation points. All of these things are pertinent. Organizations are dry stuff. Administration is dry stuff. Communication lines have apparently very little to do with whether or not you get clear. But from where I sit, I would be so entangled continuously with everything else that we would never get the job done if it weren't for these things. So to me, they loom very important. And to you, they should loom important that the technology, when developed, arrives and stays in a pure and decent state and is applicable and usable. And that's the only thing we're trying to do. It comes home to you someday when you're sitting there and the auditor doesn't know what he's doing. But they're trained experts. It comes home to you rather heavily that the skill could be upgraded a little bit in this auditor. That is born home to you. Well, we'll keep it upgraded. 
Now, it isn't enough just to put it there. You've got to keep it there. <laughs> All of this is background music to the technology. It is not more important than that technology. Not by a long ways. But if that technology is going to continue to work, and to work well for people, then what I'm telling you, uh, what I'm telling you about is very important. You should support your organizations in your area. You should support Scientology organizations. And now that you're all pulling together, three cheers, hip hip hooray. I added that last part, but they like that term. They probably copyrighted it. I'll probably get a DMCA for Hip Hip Array. Yeah, anyway, yeah. yeah. L. Ron Hubbard, the founder and prophet, profiteer, in August of 1962 at the Clearing Success Congress, given in Washington, D.C., L. Ron Hubbard delivered the lecture your Scientology orgs and what they do for you. In which he paved in stone the road to freedom. And he built the bridge, too. Yeah. And made clear the pivotal role of Scientology organizations as the stable foundation that drives the achievement of the aims of Scientology, and that's that for that. And I guess I'll go into this in the next video. I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. I, it's, it's, yeah, do one more. Stay tuned, or peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. You want to read the, you want me to read this next one? Come on. It's going to be good.